Stop touching niggas with your head! This is officially the twelfth time we are doing this recording. And as such, I just want to get to the introduction. So if you may, please. Congratulations, stupid motherfucker. You just want a brand new ass whooping. Nah, don't cut none of this. Keep it all in there. No punch. Hell nah. Yeah. Yeah. Squad. Woo. I don't punch in. I just walk in the booth and the poof, man, and turn to a dungeon. I just jump in. No stretching. Start flexing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lion's Rant, where this is one of, I believe, six to eight episodes, where after this, we are done with this series for good. Why? Well, we're going to have to wait until the final episode to explain why. Um, This topic is something that's been on my queue for a long time now. Mostly for different reasons, but after a kerfluffle, I feel like now is the perfect time to do it where I'm no longer in my 2020 mindset, my 2021 mindset, although is still there with its anger and its rage and its fury. I'm now gotten to the point where I can talk about everything in a lot more of a calm state of mind with a better circumnavigated status for myself. So... Let's officially dive into this, like how you guys saw in the thumbnail. If you've been alive for a long period of time, you probably know about the etymology for a beef and or a feud. It is an actual conflict between one to two parties, or sometimes an entire family or cornucopia or group of parties that must be... Pretty much sustained to have a foregone conclusion of either death, bloodshed, or physical pain that matches the whole entire consequences from the actions that brought about said feud and or beef. That is the original etymology for said turn of phrase, dating back to several different occasions where you guys could look into presidential slash political ones involving Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton. You guys could look into the warring feuds of various different blue bloods within both European and Euro-Asian and Asian cultures. It all culminates into what it means historically and pretty much in a literary sense what a beef and feud should be but why is it no one in the modern era understands that when you state these things there's an actual consequence to what you're talking about whoa now originally i was gonna bring up this topic because everyone wants to talk to me about saying why don't i as a multi-faceted content creator talk about rap feuds and or rap beefs or creator feuds slash creator beefs that stems to also some stuff from 2021 that allows me to see that not a lot of people understand that beef isn't something that's just squashed with words that is when you have problems and when you have just issues i don't think a lot of people understand and they'll probably be in my comment section if uh Nick and or Mo decide to allow comments into this. I don't know. I just make the bitch. A lot of people think that when you just talk it out and stuff, that's just a feud that you put out the fire for. It's a beef that you squash and whatnot. But here's the problem, guys. That does not indicate an actual feud or a beef. It's you take issue, you take offense, you're enraged, and you want recompense. You want retribution. You want reverence. That does not qualify as a beef or a feud because that is a blood-soaked vendetta that can't be washed with words. Actions have to be taken place to eradicate said problems. It should be something that's formed through you do a lot of these actions to make up for what you've done or you pay with it with your own blood and or death, which is how the etymology is supposed to be. If you're gonna solve it with words or people interfering, that's not a beef, that's not a feud. That's you taking issue and or offense with somebody. Case in point, the Dax situation. 
Everybody wants to be on the whole hype train when it comes to how Crypt or Chase or Screw or Dwayne or many other people have problem with Dax by saying that was a rap feud. People want to come up in every sort of facet to be the whole six seconds versus Shofu to beat down was a huge feud that was going to be something immaculately huge and destructive and so forth and so on. But I don't see anyone trying to be like, I want to squash this by going into a boxing arena. I want to have this squared up by having my people finding you in the streets. Because that's what our original feud or beef would be. Like actually being man or woman enough to stand up and say, I don't want an apology verbally. I want either your death or you to feel the exact same pain that you've inflicted on me, whether it was through your pen is mightier than the sword routine, or you actually trying to smack me up out of fucking nowhere. That never translated into an actual beef or feud. If you want to be the whole thing where it could constitute that whole entire measure, you could bring in Tory Lane's bitch ass, but we don't really talk about old Megamind head boy over here. Now... If that is my whole entire case, why am I trying to emphasize this to you guys in the way I'm doing? Because normally when I do this, y'all know me as the loud and angry and boisterous kind of person. But let's just dial it back right now and just fully talk about this as a whole. No one really understands what it means to take that strive about saying that you have a beef or a feud with somebody. Or you want them to feel this that, and the third thing unless blah 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 if you guys are trying to distinguish that by trying to say you have beef with this person and then you want to say all this sort of stuff and then all of a sudden you shake hands about maybe a month or two months or three months later i don't really want to take it seriously like you have an issue with the person i don't want to all of a sudden hear that you've done all this stuff for one person they then go back to blah blah blah, blah because they decided to just shake hands. If it was that important enough to say that you have issue about someone that it's going to be an actual beef or feud, why forgive them with words? Why forgive anybody by just using words about that sort of stuff if you don't have the actual jaw or you don't have the lungs to handle that fucking smoke? Like, let's be honest here, guys. We live in such a stupid, basically snowflake society where everyone wants to be like, Oh, you can't do this because blah, 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 blah. You can't say this because blah, 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 blah. And then you gotta be all of a sudden saying it's about mob rule mentality, saying that whatever the mob says goes, and so forth and so on. And it gets so tiresome. It gets so boring. It gets so dumb. And all I'm thinking to myself is, where did the smarts go? Like, everyone out here, you all claim to be smart. Like, even those of you that are probably watching this, trying to make a whole big point of saying that I'm going to probably fuck up and say some stuff that's going to be counterproductive. Y'all trying to say you're smart. Y'all trying to say that you have no idea what I'm talking about, and you keep it a hundred. You keep it be free. You know what the whole terminology is. But let me just sit down and ask y'all, how many times have y'all tried to throw out that whole thing of stating that you personally or you observing a situation are trying to say that's beef, that's a fucking feud, that's war, not understanding a single thing about what you're trying to say, not understanding how it fully details itself into how a feud's supposed to be dictated. If anyone out there is trying to say that they haven't done that before, I will gladly ask you to stand up, walk to the mirror, and then look at yourself and then tell me that you see a liar. Because we've all been guilty of doing that. I don't want to hear a single fucking lie about someone saying they have never done that. I've been guilty of doing that before. It took me a long time to get back to that because, frankly, one, I didn't really, really realize that whole situation when I was a teenager until someone tried to shoot my fucking ear off. I didn't know about that shit until someone tried to literally shank me in my gut. You guys want to try and talk to me about a bunch of stuff where if I've made a whole Lions Rant video that I don't practice what I preach, I don't put what I do into practice, bruh, this is my fucking life. 
when I try to give you guys these life lessons. And it's why I've also tried to incorporate what it is about an actual beef and feud for a lesson because of my own real life beef and feuds. I have beef and feud with various different actors and actresses. Tempty VA for talking about my fucking kids when she shouldn't, and then trying to white knight the situation with her own white knights, then try and gaslight it to make it seem like I'm the person that perpetrated it all, when it all started from her talking about her father issues in a live stream. I have beef and feud with Jonas Fresh, with Brit Blade, with Matthew Archer, because when I was making a movie in 2020, it was being finalized. I had to relive a lot of trauma involving one event, involving one person that I'm talking about in this conversation that took the form of the person that sexually assaulted me. While another visage of the same person's partner, you guys can discern which one, was one of the people that held a weapon to my face saying if I made a sound, they would kill me anyway. And yet, I didn't want to talk about this sort of thing with any of the party, I was coerced, and then they want to spin it to then go by mob rule to say that I'm something else when I'm not anything at all. I have beef, I have feud with an actor by the name of Chase Beck, because he wanted to go by mob rule, he wanted to be the dumbass then wanted to say a bunch of stuff that then led me to go under quote unquote unalive watch. There are a huge list of people I could bring up right now, but those are the primary examples about an actual beef and feud. I don't need a verbal apology. I don't need anything like that. I need recompense of an actual blood for blood thing. I need recompense of pain for pain because that's legitimate problems. That is stuff that can still weigh on someone's soul. That is stuff that is still plaguing me to this day. I still have hate mobs trying to say that I'm something, not even understanding that since I technically live in America, I have to follow under the Sixth Amendment saying that I'm innocent until proven guilty by substantial fucking evidence. I still get people trying to throw shit on my name because they want to twist what I said into something that they want to make into an actual confrontation and or an actual issue that doesn't actually pertain to the situation. This is a bunch of stuff where defamation of character as well as just verbal and mental abuse still comes into a playing notion that doesn't stop that will never stop that is something i still have to carry day in and day out until i get actual recompense for what has happened for what is still happening because people wanted to open their mouths and talk about stuff that they didn't want to talk about in the best manner or actually understand in the best manner because people wanted to run their mouths about stuff they had no idea about, didn't even want to know the actual connotations about, and then spin their own little web to make themselves feel like they're the victims, that they themselves are being plagued by all these problems when they have no idea the actual huge story in front of them. This is the society that I've grown sick and tired of, and probably why this video has been long in the making for that needed a bigger push to make. Because the more people want to keep clapping their jaws about a bunch of stuff without actually shutting the fuck up and actually taking note about actual social cues, getting noticed about other stuff and the third thing, this is why beefs and feuds are being so misconstrued and why certain people end up getting murked in the fucking street. Not because of some whole kumbaya thing, not because of trying to do this whole hashtag Hashtag Black Lives Matter. God, God I'm getting thirsty, thirsty and lightheaded as hell. hell. God, God y'all frustrating. frustrating. It's not anything of that whole social justice agenda. It's of humanity never understanding that nothing is black and white. Nothing is just your fucking narrative. Nothing is just what you yourself have to state in the whole course of the moment or how you want to spin it to make it into a whole drama fest to then make yourself feel like you're ever so fucking superior. Life happens to multiple fucking people. 
what shapes us is still gonna be damaging and shape us into something that you yourself, you the person fucking watching, won't really comprehend. But you want to choose, then make it difficult by making enemies, by not thinking your actions through. When the person that you're probably spinning the web on is more hurt than what you're trying to spin for yourself. And, and I, I know my heater just kicked on, I don't fucking care. These are my last six to eight videos of Lion's Rant. Y'all gonna get background noise for all I fucking care, but even still. I don't really think anyone's gonna pick up this lesson, but here's the big lesson of this whole video. One, stop running your fucking mouth. Two, stop running your fucking mouth. Three, stop running your fucking mouth. Because it might not be someone that's so nice to sit down after years of understanding what it means to just be cocky and pulling out the weapon first to put someone in the grave. Because it's not like I can be like I'm a saint. I've never done horrible things to people. I've never once said I'm a saint. I've done horrible things to multiple goddamn people. But I'm at least cognizant enough to know that as I'm getting older, I can't keep doing the same shit that I did when I literally thought that the world had no consequences for acting like a monster. But the more people want to keep pushing the envelope, making sure that they make enemies here and there, that's when you're gonna fucking learn that you won't have the jaw for it when someone just smacks you up. You won't have that protection when someone actually pulls out the weapons on you and murks you in that goddamn street to where no one will even know what happened to you. Stop running your fucking mouth. Think your actions through and put yourselves in not just your own shoes, but the world's shoes. It's not just your narrative that matters. It's the world that matters. The people around you, whether you like them or not, they matter. What ultimately still matters in the circumference isn't you. You're not the center of the universe. Your narrative isn't the only one that's important. And you don't know whether or not you've pissed off that one person that's gonna track you down and end up killing you. But frankly, I don't even know why I even bother, but I'm still gonna put this video up. So take my advice or not. You can keep running your mouth and see if one day your luck runs out to finally someone just shows up at your front door by getting your IP address, knocking on that motherfucking door, and just gunning you down where you stand. Or you can be smart and actually make a change to try and make sure that you eradicate what is or isn't gonna be a plague later on. Either way, it is what it is. Are you dumb? I'm the smoothest you hear you worried about a tier list i'll leave your list in tears i bring them fear it'll click from the psycho soldier so many holes in you it triggers my tripophobia lines go over you dumb dumb you won't leave with your lungs intact don't get them the first time i'll and run it back